Hey, this is Vu, and today I'm going to be talking about how to play T side on DE Cash. And this is actually something that can seem incredibly tough in certain scenarios, but there's one thing I'll show you that pretty much nobody knows. And it makes this map incredibly simple. Now, I did put this in another video, and that video did get some recognition. So when I say nobody knows it, I rather mean that I've never seen anybody else I've played against use this. Okay, so I'll go over the rest of the map a little bit later. However, this is something you can do if you're having trouble and you're getting shut down. Because often counter-terrorists will have an op, and they'll be able to op post up on a and b and if they have solid oppers it's incredibly hard to actually find entries when you're playing in a pug because you can't coordinate strats and things like that so what you're going to do is you're going to come up here you're going to aim between this dot and this line and right there and throw and you're going to have the best one-way smoke possibly on the entire map maybe even on pretty much any map i definitely say it's a competitor for one of the best one-way smokes in the game so you come up here line up the box like this aim between these lines and throw where's that gonna land it's gonna land right here and you come up behind it and they can see you from vents when you get right here so you have to worry a little bit about that however you can clear out Z, you can clear out sandbags, you can molly sandbags, you can molly vents, you can do anything you want, and you're pretty much going to be invisible. And one of the great things about this smoke is that people get a tendency, especially oppers in Z, to think that they can see through this, so they post up on it. And so what you're going to see is you're literally going to see someone sitting in the middle of the open with an op staring at you and not being able to see you. And now the only problem here is they will see your muzzle fire. So you have to hit them with your first shot. You can't whiff a bunch of times or there's a good chance they'll kill you. However... If you don't whiff, a lot of the time it's a free kill, and it's completely free mid control. Now the other thing you can actually do, this is something I found out very recently, and it's a little bit less relevant for pugs, but it's great for teams to know, is you can actually destroy Molotovs by having a smoke down here. And one of the easiest ways to throw that is to come around this bin, aim right there, and run throw. And that's going to bounce off the wall, bounce down, and land right there and that's actually going to stop molotovs that land right up here so this is another cool trick that you can use now as for other ways to play the map i do actually have a video on this where i talk about going b on cash however i'll show you quickly what i like to do i come down here strafe wide like this and then jump throw off the wall and I work B. This is my favorite place to work on this map. On most maps, I have a tendency to find that there's one place that I feel is easier to take than others, and B is that spot on this map unless I go mid. And the reason for that is because you throw that flash, any oppers are completely dead. So what I actually try and do is I throw this flash and then I come around the corner like this. So if there's an opper and he's over here, he'll leg me and it'll be a free kill. And if he doesn't like me, or if he's waiting to shoot or whatever, I'll get the free kill on him as he tries to fall back. So it's actually pretty much foolproof unless like he's aiming kind of high, which doesn't actually make any sense because you are most worried, in my opinion, as an opper, about a fellow opper peeking out on you while they're crouching, like peeking out like you on you like this. So more often than not, at worst, he'll leg you, and at best, you'll absolutely wreck him. Then, and I, I come along here. I'm a little bit worried about here. Oftentimes, I Molotov it, but I peek out CT, which is pretty much a free kill because any opper is going to be aiming down here, and you get the first three or four shots off before they even have a chance to shoot back. Clear that out, drop down, clear this out, and again, if someone's standing here, you have a huge, huge huge advantage on them it should be a free kill the only problem is if they're up here or if they're unpeaking and then peeking up and so on and that's a little bit tough and those teams i often avoid at cash then i come over here peek out like this and all of a sudden i'm in checkers and i'm in a very good spot to help my team win the round and that's why i like to go b 
every angle I peek towards, I have a massive advantage. And by the end of that series of peaks, I am in a fantastic area to actually win the round in. As for the other side of the map, I would highly recommend, if you are playing in a pug, to avoid the hell out of a main. It's incredibly easy to pop flash. You have nowhere to run, and the only way to really safely hold on to a main is to have a teammate play anti-flash. And nobody wants to be the person playing anti-flash, and most times, you're probably not going to have a teammate willing to sacrifice himself and do that for you. So the only other place you can go is squeaky. However, the problem with squeaky is as you come through squeaky, you can get wall banged, but most importantly, once you get to this point, there's nothing you can do. You can't do anything. If you try and run out the door, you could easily get shot from a million different angles, and if you're trying to fight this guy speedway, that's generally a losing battle. So, the two places I would recommend going, again, overboost or work B. Those are the two things I would recommend doing. If you're playing with a team, you can play it very much differently, but those are the things I would recommend if you're not playing with a team. Now quickly to mention pistol round, my favorite way to do it is just to personally buy a smoke, get two flashes. I'll throw the smoke like this, and then I'll double flash out mid, one like that, and then one off the floor here, and I'll just split vents like that. It's not perfect, it's not a perfect strategy because they can kill you, it's certainly possible they can kill you in a lot of ways, however, I've found it works quite well, it blinds this guy over here, it blinds the guy in Z, and you can get an event safely to split B, and I'll just do that as a delay, so I'll delay 4 or 5 seconds, or usually I'll delay more like 12 or 13 seconds so their smoke is dead, and then I come over here, and the other way you can do this, instead of throwing the first flash, you can bounce a flash off the floor as the first flash, come on out, and then bounce a flash like jump throw it or throw it high to try and get into vents. And a lot of the time you'll actually catch someone in vents, or you'll catch someone in checkers, or you'll catch someone in the middle of the open at headshot, or something like that. It's just a fairly effective way to p take towards B, and all you need is a tiny bit of coordination, and it'll work quite well. So... Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope this helped.